Let's check in with uh, Pat Pagano now as it's time to get our updated forecast for the tri-state region. Good morning there, Pat. Hello there. Good morning, Marshall. How are you? I am fine. I am bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know. I don't know why, but I just oh. I feel I feel I feel bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. I'm sure it will it will very quickly sap out of me. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you step outdoors and you start singing, raindrops keep falling on my head. Uh, because right now there's a you know large area of light rain. Some of it is moderate. Uh, just to the south of us, and it should be moving in shortly. And it goes all the way back to the Pocono, so um, it's going to be a drippy day. There is no doubt about it. A drippy Folks, day. A drippy, drippy day. Bring along your umbrellas. Um, I don't think, uh, I think mo let's put it this way, most of the rain is going to be real light. Uh, so it's not like you'll get caught, uh, you know, in a, in a real downpour. Mid-70s today, spotty showers continue tonight, 65 to 70, variably cloudy Thursday, humid, showers and a thunderstorm late in the day or at night, mid-80s, then it turns partly sunny, less humid, 80 to 85 Friday, Saturday and Sunday, really nice, sunny skies, patchy clouds, mid to some upper 70s, both Saturday and Sunday. Isn't that nice weather for Labor Day? There's only one problem with that, folks, nice weather for Labor Day means people like to congregate at parties and things like that, you know, the final fling of summer, so to speak. And you have to be careful. I see what's going on. I'm watching it closely. I see there's been a spike, um, not not tremendous, but there's been a spike across Long Island, now so in Suffolk counties. And of course, uh, this virus is spiking in colleges. Um, because everyone is letting their guard down and well, thinking, oh, you know, it shouldn't be a problem now. You know, things are getting better, especially across New York State and Connecticut and New Jersey. So, you know, we could we could be a little bit less um, watchful. Not the case. You still have to be very, very careful. So the weather this weekend will be conducive to drawing people together. So that's going to be a problem. Now, what about Monday? Monday, OK. I think it's going to get more humid. Mm-hmm. And we may get some showers or thunderstorms either very, very late in the day or at night. So I think Monday, for the most part, will also be okay. Well, that means uh, Thursday we have the uh, uh, the race car parade, uh, the old-time race car parade, which goes through our region in between 4 and 6. Uh, it normally winds up in Falls Village for a big party. That's not happening this year. You can line up and see the race on the side of the road if you're within 6 feet of somebody who's not your relative. Wear a mask and things like that. Uh, also, the big weekend, one of the biggest weekends at Lime Rock is this weekend, uh, the Vintage Festival. And what Lime Rock did is uh, they have limited admittance, okay, uh, because they know uh, how many people that they can uh, they can have uh, on the grounds and to keep it safe. So the general public uh, will not be able to see for the first time. Uh, T- tickets are, are available. I would check with Lime Rock Park before you go to see if the tickets are available or if the, they're already snapped up. But uh, everything you know, everything is different. And then they, 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 like, we've got that. And this weekend is the Kentucky Derby, Pat. The Kentucky I Derby. I heard, yeah. yeah. Amazing. And uh, uh, so... So hopefully, hopefully people will be will be wise and 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 not get too uh, too uh, too liberal uh, with what with what they're thinking. But then again, you've got the people who are against masks, anyways. Uh, it's the, that's the good old United States. Everybody just says, "Well, we're America. We can do what we want." So uh, that's, that's yeah. That's I, I don't understand that because uh, the proof's in the pudding. It's, it's certain, as simple as that. Just look at uh, New York, Connecticut, and, and New Jersey, and you'll see exactly that. exactly. And I mean, um, we, thank God, are some of the states that are um, are doing very, very well. And that's because everyone is uh, sticking to the rules. So I really um, I really am proud of that. And the other states, you know, but there's a lot of states. Um, Marshall, that's not mandating masks. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's just not. Yeah. You know, I mean, at least here, you know, it is required. Yeah. You know, it's as simple as that. Uh, but there are states like, you know, if you want to wear them, wear them. You know, so it, it goes back to the governors then. You know, it's up to them uh, to really put their foot down. And and the reason I stress this is because, look, we're in September now. We're going into the fall season. Like my doctor told me a couple of weeks ago when I was there, he said, I dread this. 
He said, because people who may get the flu are going to think that they have COVID. He said, it, and, and just, you know, he says, I can't believe how many people are going to come rushing in, you know, uh, because of it. He said, and it's going to be hard to determine who has the flu and who has COVID. Yeah, it's 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 going to be a rough time for doctors. It it, it definitely is, and 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 for hospitals because uh, there's there's going to be a lot of testing needed because people go to the doctor, they have symptoms right. of the flu. Guess what? Well, they'll also get tested for COVID. Uh, yeah. But you know what I do to make sure I always wear my mask? I used to hang my mask on the uh, on the mirror in my cars. Right. Yes. No, no. I now hang it where the keys are to my car. Like exactly. if, if I like my Volkswagen, it's a keyless entry. Okay, so right. so what I do is I put the mask around the shifter. So when I move, put the shifter into park to yeah. get out, the mask is there. And in my Ford, where I have actually a key, I hang it right over the key when I'm driving. So that way, when I when I stop and I take the key out, I always got the mask right there to put on. Oh, uh, so you mean you're forgetting it when it's on the rearview mirror? Well, it's not. I forgot it like two or three times, and and, and I, I walked to places and then had to turn around, and I decided not to go back. So then I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to do it this way because you just can't miss it this way. You can't miss okay. it this way. Okay, that's uh, that's good. You know, that's a good idea. I think that's a very good idea. Yep, so, that's a good idea. So I saw the most disgusting thing to eat on TV last night. Uh oh. Uh, I don't know. Why I love to watch the Food Network, and I love to watch what people do. But then there's another show that's called uh, Man vs. Food. Oh. Never heard of it. No. Oh, okay. don't, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Well, anyways, uh, Man vs. Food, this guy sat down, and he had two challenges. One of them was to eat six tacos uh, filled to the rim, one with pork, one with chicken, one with beef, and loaded with ghost pepper chilies. So, and he had 30 minutes to eat them. And he did it. But another one, well, get this now. He had to eat three three-pound pancakes along with a pound of bacon in, in, I think it was 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Three, and that included butter and syrup on, 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 on the three-pound pancakes. Ugh. How could you put four pounds of that in your body i could i yeah i could see someone wants to eat a pound of bacon once it's all fried up and crispy you can get away with it but pancakes what i'm surprised more people don't die that try these things i really am i but it was horrible to see it was really a, it was a frightening thing to see but another good thing happened this week pat i got my uh, i got my professional orange juicer the, you know the bug where you, where you cut it in half and you pull down on this big thing Right. Instead of buying fresh squeezed orange juice for ten bucks a bottle, uh, which once you let it sit, half of it was water. Two Vidalia uh, uh, oranges, not not Vidalia. What are they called? Uh, the, the navel oranges. Two navel oranges makes a nice cup of orange juice, and it's fresh orange juice. It's unbelievable. It's the best. Wow. It's the best investment in a kitchen in a kitchen tool I've made in a long time. It just oh, you just good. you just pull down. It, it makes great anything any citrus, limes, lemons, grapefruit, oranges. It just it extracts so much juice. It's unbelievable, and it was like sixty eight bucks. Nothing. So yeah, I had a really good juicer, um, and I had it underneath the cabinet. This is back in the old house. Always said I was going to get it out. You know. Uh, and do it. Never did it. So prior to moving here, I uh, sold it. How do you go to? I don't like electric juicers. This is great. You cut the, you cut it in half. Boom. Push, hand, down, yeah. push down four. It goes right into your glass. You drink it. You save the thing. I I, I save the orange peels because that'll go to a friend has pigs and they you know and and the pigs will eat the orange peels. So you, there's n no waste of anything. There you go. So there's my okay. that's my good news for the day. So, okay. right. so that's so it. Raindrops, that's why you're happy. Yep, raindrops will be falling on my head. Yep, they will be, unfortunately. But they will be. And, uh, you know, we could use the rain, so we'll take it where we can get it. Because I think eastern sections of the state will not get as much as western sections of the state. Eastern, maybe they're lucky they get a quarter inch. Here we can get about a half. All right. Well, Pat, I want you to have a good day. 
You do the same, and I'll see you Thursday morning. All right. Take care, Pat. Okay. Bye, Marshall. Pat Pagano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.